afternoon good afternoon good afternoon i pray that everyone is having a great blessed day this video is for the community of abbeville louisiana where i reside um point blank in the story so um i met with the mayor today and i can honestly say i'm, I'm so serious because i you know remember who i am so my wisdom and discernment is very well I saw, I saw hope today. I was so moved. I saw hope <laughs> like I've never seen. And, and people, I'm speaking to everybody that's in our community, mothers who have lost sons, you know, brothers, cousins, black, white, all of y'all. I'm talking to every last one of you. I saw, I saw hope in that room today. We talked about building up Abbeville. There will be a skating rink. Well, they're they're actually in the process let me say it that way they're in the process that's what i went for i went and i stood for the community not for apostle deanna dixon not for myself just trying to act like i'm whatever that's never been me i told my testimony on how you know i grew up doing things i shouldn't have on these streets you know what i'm saying about making bad choices and how We've talked about the problem so many times, but it's time now for us to find solution. We, we could talk about everything that's going on till we blew in the face. It's time for solutions. And guess what? Y'all got to stop being so angry. It's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. It's not a police thing. It's a community thing. It takes a community to save a community. It's not about just one person getting in the forefront, trying to be famous. Yeah, I said it. Oh, my God. I knew I was going to say some stuff. It's about us all getting together and unifying like never before. I saw hope in that room today. So also, um, there's talks of building a bowling alley. And if y'all know there's nothing in this town, y'all understand that's excitement. I'm going to start working with um, the Boys and Girls Club here. You know, um, we had met in March and, you know, he was at the meeting today. His name is Brian and it's just an amazing person. And I just saw hope today. You know, um, if I didn't get on here just to say that, I guess that's it, huh? I saw hope. I hadn't seen hope in this town in a long time. And I'm, I'm a resident from here. I haven't seen hope. In, and, and let me tell y'all something. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And what I'm praying is that the mothers that have lost children on these streets, if y'all can stop being angry for one moment and let's, let's find a solution. Let's find a solution. Because here's the deal. It's going to take us all to stop what's going on in every capacity. But we can't do it with anger. We can't do it with emotion. We can't do it cussing. We can't do it fussing. The prayer and leadership. And asking God to put people in leadership that care. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Somebody that, that, that is going to do what they say and say what they do. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But I, I saw hope. And, and, and I guess I just wanted to convey that today. You know, um, there were so many things said in that room. Until And let me tell you something. I know when people are just playing, they weren't playing. We were coming up with some real solutions, some real, real solutions. And they saw my heart today. They saw my heart. You know, I even told the story where I used to say, I hate this town. I, I did. And then I realized it's not the city. It's not the state. Y'all be acting like it's the snow. It's the people. But we have to change our mindset. And so what I'm going to do is what I want to work on is offering free classes anger management classes yeah that's that now y'all starting to get one of the things and i'm gonna talk about myself i'm not talking about nobody else when i was younger i was molested at 12 years old that's not an excuse but that's real stuff and i never got counseling and i didn't know what was going on with me all i know is i was making bad decision after bad decision and anger i was so angry when i was young oh my god i was so angry so I know what these kids are feeling. You can't tell me nothing. We have to learn effective communication. People don't know how to talk. So they get mad and they start cursing and fussing and shooting and killing, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. 
we got to do it another way. That's all I'm saying. And hold on. This is not just in Abbeville, Louisiana. It's all over the world. And it starts with you adults, too. Raise your kids. Y'all don't want nobody to tell y'all kids nothing. If they wrong, they wrong. And y'all need to start, start actually being parents. Stop being their friends. Oh, my child. You, you know what your child do. All parents do. Now, you can, you can turn a blind eye today, but you won't turn a blind eye tomorrow if you get my drift. So this is not just for this little time. I thought I was just talking about Abigail Louisa. I'm going to have to change it. It's all over the world. Y'all need to start getting programs together to control our youth anger. But hold on. What made them angry? Did something happen in that household? Did something happen to them? And stop hollering at those kids. Stop being, you know, so, oh, that's another thing. We talked about getting parents' classes, too. I know when I was uh, a young mother at 16, I, all I knew was not how to cuss and fuss. I didn't know how to raise no child. And some of you that's 25, 35, 45, still don't know how to raise no child. You're cussing them out, tell them they're not no good, this and that. Proverbs 18, 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it should eat the fruit thereof. Don't you know what you say is what exactly they're going to be? So some of y'all, oh, you just like your daddy, just like your mom, just like you, and y'all don't say it that nice. Y'all know what y'all be saying. We have to stop. It's, so it's not just the youth. It's the adults, too. I hear y'all cussing each other, getting on Facebook, and I'm going here. What happened to old times? No, no, let, let's, let's be real. Y'all say y'all real. You're not real. Anytime you got to get on Facebook and tell somebody how you feel, and then everybody else chime in. You ain't real. You're messy. And that's not of God. And then you wonder why these kids are messy. Because y'all adults messy. Stop doing that. If you have a problem with somebody, learn how to effective com communicate calling. And you don't have to cuss. And you don't have to fuss. And you don't have to fight. And you don't have to kill. Sister, brother, or even if you don't like them, whatever, call them their name. Can I talk to you? That's what we got to get back to. Even in ministry, even as friendships, even as bop, everybody fussing and cussing. Stop. Learn how to effectively communicate. Learn how to master your emotions. You know, I've been doing researches for years. It's called D. That's how I came out of what I was in. I had actually wrote a paper for somebody that was graduating. And I wrote their paper. Y'all know how it is. But I didn't understand why I wrote that paper on that. I think that was their subject, their dissertation, or whatever the case may be. But I had to do so much research. It never left my spirit. And so I revisited last week for a month. I've been talking about, you know, I I'm, I'm wrote a book about uh, rage. So I had to go back to all that deviant behavior and anger. It brought some stuff. This is exactly what that spirit is. Things are going on in the household, people are stressed. It's time for y'all to deal with what's going on, but in an effective manner, because we all go through it. You got to stop. Okay, let's let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. When I was young, my mother didn't drink or smoke, but my uncles and my my aunts did, and, and that's who I stayed with most of the time, because mom was going to nursing school. So what you think I ended up doing at 16? Drinking, smoking, cussing, and fussing. Children mock what they see. So if we're going to really solve the problem, we got to go to the beginning of the problem. What you what what are those children seeing in the household? And then y'all love to say, don't do what I do, do what I say. That don't work no more. That don't work no more. So we could blame the police. We could blame this one, that one. Parents, what you doing? Because you got to do your part. Because some of y'all just want to, y'all want to be part-time parents. Yeah, y'all want to be part-time parents. And it's not just people doing it. It was a system created because now you need two incomes, almost three, just to survive. But still in all, I don't care how tired and how stressed you are. Stop cussing out your children. Stop drinking your problems away. And then when your child start, why are you doing that? That's all I saw you do. I don't know how to handle my problems or getting high. Why y'all think, you know, and I'm using me again. When I used to smoke weed. I started at 12 years old. Y'all know I was molested at 12, right? It makes sense, right? I just wanted, I just didn't want to think about it. It took 
for me to kind of like go away for a minute, not knowing it will cause more problems down the line. Because one thing about your body, and I had to understand that, is that the more you put drugs in, it wants a, a bigger high. It, it wants a, it wants a, it always goes to the next level. That's how people get hooked on heroin and all this other stuff, crack. It just don't start with no. And, and believe it or not, alcohol, alcohol, I'm sorry, alcohol can trigger it. So all this stuff I'm talking about is real. Because all we want to do is say, oh, they're not solving cases. Oh, they're not doing that. That's that's part of the problem. Because these murders should be solved. I ain't going to lie. Let's be real. But it starts at home. It starts everyday living. What are you teaching your children? I didn't I didn't believe that when I was young. I, I, I thought, hey, I just do what I want to do. And boy, I, boy, did I do what I want to do. And boy, did I get what I got. So with that being said, I saw hope today. And that's why I'm up on here. I just want you to have an open mind. Let them do their job. You know what our job is and as, as a community? Obey laws. Are you teaching your kids that? I'm just saying obey authority. Even when they're wrong. Because they're going to get dealt with regardless. Walk in obedience to our parents. Are you teaching your children to do that? Are you cussing and fussing? Uh, uh, this the big one. I hear y'all letting y'all kids f cuss and fuss all in front of you, especially if they're selling them drugs. Uh oh, did I say that? Where well, they bringing in money? Don't get mad when they get shot, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Don't get mad when something else. Happens. Don't get mad, mother, father, because you're part of the problem. And I've seen this my whole life. Y'all let them kids do whatever if they're bringing in that money, that bag. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. I'm going to do my part. And I pray that you do yours. It, it, marching is good. Praise the Lord. It's going to take more than marching. It's going to take coming together for real. All right. So, um, my God, my God, my God. I, pray, I challenge every last one of you, wherever you're at in your city, your state, your town. Because one of the things that made me um, really go out and see, I'm tired of these kids getting killed. I'm tired of it, killing each other for nothing. You'd be surprised. She looked at, he looked at my girl, uh, stupid stuff. So that lets me know they can't handle nothing mentally. So mom, dad, you're not building them up strong. So that means they've seen a breakdown in the home because like I say, what you see, you mock, you, you live. I'm just being honest. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but something just happened. So you know what? Um, I don't know how to say your name, Costina. That is, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, the classes that I'm going to start offering, and I may even offer them online here. We got to get a hold of our emotions, our anger, and learn how to effectively communicate. You know why people start cussing? Because you don't have the words to say what you're really saying or what you feel, which is tied into emotional and sometimes emotional trauma. What have that person been through? Because I'm telling you, some kids are going through some stuff. Oh, I'm about to talk about it. How many of us got molested when we was young by a family member or this or that? And we didn't say nothing because, you know, we don't want to talk about the sweeping under the rug. And yet you start having problems in your adult life, but ain't nobody want to talk about it. I'm just being honest. So it's just time for us to deal with a lot of things that we haven't dealt with. And we can't always blame this person or that color or this. No, sometimes we got to look right in, right in our own backyard. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that. There's not real problems. Don't get it twisted. Please, I'm clarifying what I'm saying. But I'm saying also, you got to check. You know how they say sweep around your own front door? But you need to sweep in the house, back door, look out the window, see what's going on. I'm just saying. We got we, we to gotta go back to the old landmark. The way they, you, <laughs> I'm going to leave y'all with this. It was so funny because back in the day, they didn't play. You see, if you start closing that door and your parents told you not to close that door, they would take the whole door off. <laughs> Be like, what you doing? Oh, you ain't no privacy up here. <laughs> That's where we need to go.
my back too. Ain't no privacy. What you mean privacy? You know, you get some privacy when you pay some bills. But y'all don't do that. Let me tell you, this world have tricked you. This world got y'all buying y'all kids everything they want. Then when they get mad, that anger, that emotion, then they start cussing you, fighting you, fussing you. Don't act like I don't know because I see it. One thing um, a lot of people don't know is I actually was a peer counselor for Southern University. That's the freshman coming in. I saw so much stuff I can't even tell you. I talked to so many freshmen that you'd be surprised what they went through, what they go through, that they can't even do their work because of what's going on at their home. So all I'm saying is, if, if in order for us to take care of the problem out there, we got to start taking care of the problem in your homes. So, whoo, that's all I want to say. My God, my God, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm emotional because I've been, and all I want to do is give back now. If I could have one, two, three, four. It's not about Deanna, trust me. Uh, not trying to be nothing. But I am definitely going to do my part. And I, and I challenge every last one of you that's on this live, do your part in your city. And, look, I, and don't get discouraged because I got to say it. I talked to a couple of men, right? I said, come stand with me. Oh, I don't want to get involved in that. I was like, I talked to a couple of ladies. And you know, <laughs> I ain't even going to say what I want to say. Really? It's all our problem. And that's the problem. We start acting like it wasn't our problem. But when it hits your front porch, then it's your problem, huh? Nah, we got to check that before it hits your front porch. That's what we stop doing. We stop being a community. Everybody start turning on each other, acting crazy. We got we to find the love again, y'all. That's what I... Respect. Just simple respect. All right, so... Um, this is the beginning of these type lives because, yes, well, Sherry, that's what we're going to do on the 18th. We're starting that fast, that fast on our face. I hope that you're joining us. Um, I have it on my page. And, you know, we're going to be praying, but we also got to do our part. You know what I'm saying? So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lot so just for that is truly who we are. God bless. Oh, and my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> you know I had to say that. Y'all have a good one. Bye.